G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Quick tip time and I think we've all got batteries that look like this. Well, perhaps not like this. This has had a really hard life. This one, this is a mini quad battery, 4 cell, 1300 milliamps. It's another 4 cell, 1300 milliamps. Now, I normally take down the balance leads as you can see so they don't get caught in the props. But even when you do that, sometimes they get caught in the props. And this is what tends to happen, see? The balance plug gets munched and what do you do then? I know a lot of people would say, oh no, throw the battery away. Well. I'm not going to throw the battery away, it's perfectly good, apart from it's cosmetic outside. And on this one, you can still use this one. You can see this, it's still plug inable but if this shorts to the frame, because this is actually the positive wire, this has got 14.4 volts on it, uh, well up to 16 volts on it, that shorts to the frame, which is usually earthed, then smoke can come out and bad things will happen. So ideally, you want to repair the balance lead on these batteries. And well, how do you do that? I mean, you could get a balance lead off an old battery that you've thrown out, and use that but chances my phone chances are the plastic on that's already broken too but there is a solution at hand here it is look at this and you see right on here balance lead well the, all you need to fix these up is just the plastic and you can buy the plastic um, and all sorts this what's this one this is, this is a four yeah that's a four cell i have a range four cells three cells you can buy these bits of plastic they are just off the shelf items so if i want to repair this balance lead i just get the plastic piece that is right and I just start putting the wires back in where they came out, just making sure that I get them lined up. And this one's a bit bent, actually. I might have to short, straighten it up a bit. I'll get my granny glasses too, hang on, because I'm blind as a bat without them. Now, in this case, obviously, this little pin, she's buggered, so I'm going to have to recrimp or even solder a new pin on here. And we've all got old batteries you can cap, you know, take the, the pin off. You might even want to just cut the wire and solder it on. But these other ones are all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer them over to the new plastic one at a time and to do that you'll need a modeling knife and some good eyes i'm gonna to have to go and find me a modeling knife now such a lack of preparation Th this is a quick tip after all right what you got to do is a little metal tab that pops up here you got to push down on that while you pull on the wire and that enables the wire to come out the back of the connector like this see that wire just pulls out voila now making sure you get everything around the right way you can then transfer the wires one at a time into the new plastic. Let me see if I can get that in there. There you go. Oops. Notice that one actually pulls out again because that little metal tab, oh, that's all right. Now I pushed it in. Sometimes you have to bend the little metal tab back up because when you push it down, it doesn't spring back up. So as you can see now, I've transferred one and I'll just go ahead and transfer the other wires and then I will replace this little crimped connection. I won't bore you with that. We'll do a jump cut. Et voila. There we have the, uh, the new plastic, except for the black wire is on there. There's the old plastic and as you can see, super munted up, not good for anything, but now I will find an old, old battery, cut the wire off, solder it on, then I can push it into there as well. And here is the donor battery for that operation. Look at that, look how puffy this thing is. Why have I kept this lying around? This is, this is ludicrously puffy, but um, it really, it is nice to have these things lying around so you can actually steal parts off them. So as you can see, I have soldered a new end on there from the other battery. And that just needs to be slotted in there. I've got some heat shrink on here so I can shrink this down, make sure it's not going to get shorted out. I will do that now. And that then takes care of that. So this battery will now be good as new, maybe even better. We don't know. So that's all good as gold there. And then this will just slot into the remaining hole, making sure I get it the right way up. Here we go. Voila, there we go. A completely repaired balance lead on this scruffy old battery. Um, but it saved it. It's good for a few more flights and it's not going to be a danger because these wires touch onto each other or, you know, cause problems. Uh, you can end up with a really bad fire situation. For example, if one of the loose wires banged onto one of the other wires, if, say, if two of these wires were broken, then these, the insulation will melt on these and you'll get a short circuit possibly inside the battery and that means once that happens even if you pull the wires apart it's still going to go up and cause a real fire danger so be very careful right now we have one more left here this should be a simple one because the actual metal connector itself isn't damaged so it's just a case of swapping things over got another spare piece of plastic here voila i will do it and i'll speed it up so you don't have to get bored
have saved the day. And we have a perfectly good balance lead on this battery. Brilliant. Simple tip. Now, as I say, these things, link in the description where you can find these. Otherwise, just have a hunt around. They're, they're easily found. And rescue your batteries. Don't throw them away because you've got a broken balance lead. If you want some more quick tips, let me know. I'll come up with as many as I can. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Time for me to get on. Plenty more to do at RC Model Reviews. Bye for now.